New Gap CEO Richard Dixon has spoken about his experience upon joining the struggling company from toy business Mattel. In August, you barely knew what we were actually selling, he said on Wednesday, describing how the firm's four apparel brands had lent heavily on promotions and discounts. Dixon was addressing an audience at Voices, a conference organized by apparel industry website The Business of Fashion, in Oxfordshire, UK displayed behind him on stage was a screenshot of Gap's website where money-off messages were a prominent part, which Dixon said was typical of the company's brands a few months ago. To some extent, the clarity of the conversation with consumers just needed an edit. Our product is a great product, but it's lost in the message, Dixon added. Gap announced third-quarter earnings earlier this month, which outperformed analysts' expectations, but its holiday sales forecast was muted and revenue at its flagship Gap brand was down 15% year-over-year. Shares are up about 78% in the year to date. Dixon took on the CEO role at Gap after an almost 10-year tenure at Mattel, where he was president and chief operating officer. He is widely credited with reviving the company's Barbie brand, whose sales were seeing double-digit falls at the time he joined in 2014. She just didn't reflect what was culturally relevant, Dixon said of the doll. Moms had turned actually away from loving Barbie to feeling put off by Barbie, he added. The company introduced different body types and ethnicities for Barbie, which helped with the turnaround, and the blockbuster Barbie movie became the highest-grossing U.S. release of 2023 in August, making $575.4 million in North America and $1.35 billion globally. People thought when I left, you're crazy, Dixon said of leaving Mattel for Gap. You've got this blockbuster movie, a great team, and you're going to this company in a transformation. But, that to me, I would be crazy not to do it, he said. The Gap Company is made up of four brands, Athleta, Old Navy, and Banana Republic, along with its namesake banner. These are incredible brands but need to have differentiation amongst each other. Copy, font, typography, every detail of a brand needs to be communicated with precision, and what you're going to start to see is the evolution of that journey unfold in every one of our brands, Dixon said. Dixon talked about the origin story of Gap, which started life as a San Francisco store selling Levi's, records and tapes, in 1969. Founders Donald and Doris Fisher originally planned for the outlet to be named the Generation Gap, Dixon said, as they wanted different age groups to shop there. But Doris Fisher crossed out the word generation and the store became simply the Gap. Dixon said Gap needs to hearken back to the story and figure out what is that cultural conversation today, he said. An advertising campaign for jeans, featuring a woman trying on different denim styles, using the jeans. The jeans. The jeans, as a tagline, is a hint of where Gap's ads might go, Dixon said. We need to take swings. We need to take risks. We need to encourage our community to fail fast. This is a great example of the creativity being unlocked and going back to the origin story of denim, he added.